With new tonight, days after the Department of Health suspended their license, Daybreak Youth Services remains open and has no plans on closing their Spokane facility. New at 10, Crime 2's Kyle Simchuk looks into the complaint and why Daybreak says the state's playing dirty tricks. Kyle. Well, yeah, Cody, the Department of Health says Daybreak failed to cooperate with investigations into patient safety, including sexual misconduct. Daybreak claims those concerns have already been addressed, and by pulling their license, the state's actually putting young people at risk. Daybreak Youth Services provides treatment for teens struggling with addiction and mental health. According to their website, the nonprofit's the largest youth Medicaid facility in the state and one of the few providing inpatient treatment. Daybreak has two locations, one in Spokane, the other in Brush Prairie. This week, both facilities lost their licenses, yet both locations remain open despite a temporary court order. Daybreak's accusing the Department of Health of using dirty tricks and denying them due process. The Department of Health says Daybreak repeatedly failed to cooperate with DOH investigations into ongoing patient safety concerns, failed to make mandatory reports, and failed to respond appropriately to allegations of staff misconduct, all of which are required by law. Earlier this year, a female counselor was charged with having sex with a minor male patient at the Brush Prairie facility and possibly a hotel room, according to court documents obtained by CREM2. The Department of Health conducted more than 700 facilities investigations in 2022. They claim Daybreak was the only facility that refused to cooperate with the investigation. On the other hand, Daybreak claims that while under oath, the department's lead investigator said she didn't have any evidence of non-cooperation, that it was only a, quote, feeling. The state says Daybreak continues to demonstrate disregard for the law. In a statement, Department of Health Chief of Prevention Lacey Furenbach said in part their refusal to cooperate with DOH investigations into serious allegations and now their refusal to comply with the lawful suspension orders of two separate health law judges are evidence Daybreak believes it can operate outside of the law. End quote. Caught in the middle of this legal fight are some of Washington's most vulnerable teens. Daybreak says their staff do not pose an immediate threat to patients, but the Department of Health does. The nonprofit says if they shut down, the kids they serve are likely to, quote, end up on the street, in jail, or the morgue. Now, since their license is suspended, Apple Health or Medicaid cannot pay for services and Daybreak cannot bill them. We'll continue to follow this story as it plays out. In the studio, Kyle Simchuk, Krem2 News.